often, ham radio operators, debate whether a one-to-one -one ballon is needed on resonant dipoles or not. To test the effect of a ballon on a resonant dipole, I build a dipole for the 40 meters bend with a switch that can bypass the ballon. The first test is the measurement of the VSWR. As we can see, the curves, with ballon or without ballon, are almost identical. There is no way to see the ballon effect with a VSWR meter. Now we shall perform a radiation test. A transmitter will be keyed while the ballon will be alternatively inserted, or bypassed. An RF emitter will monitor the amount of power radiated by the coaxial cable. Another RF emitter will monitor the power radiated by the power cord. We can now key up our transmitter. When the ballon is disabled, a significant amount of power is radiated by the feed line. Without ballon, even the power cord radiates. The paddle cord also radiates. Electric shocks can be perceived when touching the base. In this test, we shall use a signal generator to simulate a source of noise nearby the coaxial cable. Such sources of noise like switching power supplies and others, can be met by the coaxial cable, along its path within the house. So, let's turn on our signal generator. The injected note is very evident when the ballon is disabled. The lack of a ballon has no significant effect on VSWR. However, it causes significant radiation from the feed line and other wires. It might cause higher noise due to feed line pickup. Thank you for watching.